Hi, and welcome to A Day in My Life. To set the scene, I work for an online brokerage in the City of London. I wanted to make this video to show you what a realistic work from home day would look like for someone in this industry. Hint, it's nothing like Wolf of Wall Street. Let's go. Busy day in the diary for me. So waking up nice and early just before 5 a.m. I have two workouts planned and a full working day. So I fill up my water bottle, change into my gym gear and head straight out the door. I make my way out of the flat and to my local gym, which is just a five minute walk away. I have planned a back and biceps day. I start with some pull-ups. I find it's a good way to start off my back day, a nice challenging exercise with my body weight to get me going. Then move on to some bent over rows on the T-bar and throw in some biceps on the easy bar and a variation of rows on the bench. Do some triceps and then move on to the lap machine for the final back exercise. I normally then finish it off with some abs. Here I did a plank, the longest minute of my life, but good to keep a trained core. Quick and efficient workout. I'm normally in and out in an hour. This gives me about an hour and a half to get on with some personal work. At the moment I'm trying to get this YouTube channel off the ground so I can take some time to brainstorm some video ideas or to write the script of my videos or just to watch some other YouTube channels and trying to pick out some bits of inspiration that I can use for my future videos. I really enjoy this time in the morning. No one else is awake and no notifications are pinging on my phone. Just some focus time, me, my laptop and my notepad where I can smash out some work ahead of the workday. I'll then get on to my morning coffee. I'm a big fan of my morning cappuccino, so I do take my time with it and make it a bit of a ritual. I'll brew my coffee on this mocha pot, nice and strong, just how I like it. I will then form up some milk. I normally use my French press and some oat milk. I'll then pour it onto this jug, this little jug, and then swirl it around like a professional barista that I'm not. And after this super long and crazy build up, you would expect some half decent latte art, but no, uh, it tends to be just a blob. Maybe I chose the wrong career. Anyway, after this masterpiece, I'll take my coffee over to my desk and start my workday. I normally tend to ease into my day just sipping on my coffee and browsing through the major news headlines. I do think that working in this industry is very good to just stay abreast of what's happening in the global markets, in the wider economy. So I normally scroll through the Financial Times, Bloomberg, the BBC and some other major news outlets. Another thing I would do is go through my inbox looking out for any high priority, time sensitive tasks that have come through to my inbox overnight and I'll make sure I note them down onto my notepad to make sure that nothing slips through the cracks. I'll also try to respond to those emails that I received the previous day that I've not managed to respond to before. I filmed this video on a Monday morning. 
and every Monday morning I have a team meeting with my wider team we normally go through the upcoming week, any prospects that are coming in, any client events, client meetings that are planned, and just a nice uh, start of the week meeting to make sure that we're all on the same page on the things that we need to get done. Once the call is finished, I normally get on to my breakfast. I tend to keep things quite simple. I normally have some oats and then top it with whatever I fancy that day. Could be some dried fruit, some fresh fruit, some nuts and seeds, or some maple syrup, or all the above. I'm confident most of you know how to make some porridge, but in case you don't, oats, milk or water, and then just keep stirring. Once it's finished cooking, you know the drill, take it to my desk and munch on that while I continue working. I do tend to take some breaks and stretch my legs every now and again, uh, philosophically looking outside the window like I'm doing now. Also I thought I'd show you my snazzy setup that I'm very proud of. I don't normally look at huge charts, uh, but you know, it looks cool for the video. Anyway, after my breakfast I tend to have about 3-4 hours of work, I tend to put all my important tasks before lunch, uh, I tend to be more fresh and, and more focused. Do you know what's next? You guessed it. Lunch. It seems like all I do is eat in this video. Anyway, I'll make some lunch. Again, I normally, when I'm working from home, tend to have something fairly simple and quick. This time I've gone with some soup and some bread. Very easy. Very boring. Uh, we'll have that and then probably takes me about 10-20 minutes maximum. I won't do this every time, but sometimes I'll pick up my Kindle and perhaps read a few pages or a chapter of a book. At the moment I'm reading The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday. Really enjoying it. Anyway, after I've read for a little bit, I will get back to work. On this particular day, most of my afternoon was spent on some Excel work. I had to prepare some reporting that I had to send out later in the week. Anyway, so this takes me through to 5, 5.30 p.m., which is when I normally log off for the day. Finish off what I need to do, switch off of my computer, have a stretch, and that's me done for the day. Done with the working day, that is, because I still have my run to get done. At this time of the year, it gets cold and dark pretty early out there. So change into my running clothes and then we're off to the races again. Mm -hmm. 
I tend to run along the Thames and into my local park. This day I'm doing no specific running workout, just an easy four mile run and kept at a nice pace. And that's dinner time. Some quick noodles with some veg and then I can finish up with some final work for the day. Taking off anything that I got done, carrying across for the next day, what I haven't. Thanks for watching.